Hi, my name is John Jacob. I am the director of the Texas Coastal Watershed Program, a program dedicated to helping Texas's coastal citizens make wise choices about how they use land and natural resources, choices that will help us to have better water quality in our bays and bayous. Uh, the Texas Coastal Watershed Program is part of Texas A&M University through Texas AgriLife Extension and through the Texas Sea Grant College Program. We have a variety of programs available to you and that will be discussed shortly on this video. We can provide you with direct technical assistance, we can set up educational programs, and we have an abundance of information on our website. Hello, my name is Chris Lachance, WaterSmart Program Coordinator. The WaterSmart Program, funded by a grant from Houston Endowment, offers targeted education and outreach on landscaping issues that impact water quality, water conservation, and habitat for wildlife. Through demonstration landscapes, workshops, classes, volunteer training, and presentations, the program supports citizens young and old in realizing that water smart landscapes are beautiful, resilient, and eco friendly. Hi, I am Sharis York, and I am an Extension Program Specialist who focuses on stormwater issues. This means I am concerned about the rainwater that falls and runs across the land, buildings, and paved areas that make up our watersheds. Most of my projects are focused in the Dickinson Bayou Watershed in Galveston County. Some of these projects include retrofitting a detention basin to act as a stormwater wetland, creating rain gardens, and rainwater collection solutions. As part of my job, I also give talks and share information with the public about watersheds and stormwater and the small changes we can all make in our everyday life to help improve our waterways. The Texas Coastal Watershed Program is also the Texas NEMO representative. NEMO stands for Non-Point Source Education for Municipal Officials and is a program in 32 states dedicated to protecting our natural resources through better land use planning. Hi, I'm Stephen Mikulinchuk, Program Coordinator for the Highland Bayou Watershed Protection Plan. I help communities look at connections between the environment and how we use land so that Galveston Bay is a resource that works for everyone. We're also developing new tools that help people understand complex issues and that foster collaboration in public workshops. We've created a mapping tool that allows citizens to test development scenarios and understand approaches to managing growth and water resources in their communities. We've also created the Wii table using off-the-shelf technology like Nintendo Wii Modes to turn any table surface into a functioning computer interface. Since we've created these tools, citizens in our workshops can now use computer mapping to look at the same data that experts use and do that in partnership with their neighbors and colleagues. Hi, my name is Rhonda Meyer. I'm the Administrative Coordinator and Office Manager in charge of accounting, purchasing and receiving, as well as coordinating the IT in our office. I also oversee our online soil and site evaluation course for installers one and two, designated representatives, site evaluators, maintenance providers, and sanitarians. I help by assisting with registration, answering questions about the course, and sending the continuing education hours to TCEQ, TDH, and the State of Oregon. To learn more about the course, you can go to our website. Hi, I'm Marissa. And I'm Mary Carroll. And we are the wetland restoration portion of the Texas Coastal Watershed Program. Our work revolves around the restoration of critical wetland habitat in and around the Houston-Galveston area, particularly on public lands and or public parks, like Sheldon Lake State Park directly behind us. We work with local middle school and high school students and train Texas Master Naturalist volunteers to restore the landscape to its pre-settlement conditions. We put the prairie back where it once existed. That's important because so little of this valuable landscape remains. Doing this, we simultaneously improve the water quality in the watershed and we provide homes for the native wetland plants and animals. All right, let's get to work. All right. 